Hi, how are you liking the new release so far? I have a card using the Fluttering By stamp set today. The new stamp sets will be released on the 25th of February 2020, but all the stamps are available as pre-order right now. Each day this week there will be a video showing the new release. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any. I will link to all the products at the Sunshine and Bee Design Shop in the description area below. I used all three of the butterflies and stamped them with Versamark embossing ink to create a background and a heat embossed with alabaster embossing powder. I don't have any spare plugs near my desk, so I can't show the heat embossing on camera. My Versamark is a bit messy, and I can see the stamped areas, so I don't risk stamping over any of the butterflies. I covered the whole card with embossing powder and tapped off the excess before taking this to my heat gun. It was quite cold when I filmed this video, so I have my armbands on to keep my wrists warm. I wanted to use purples and blues. I picked the flirty fuchsia and something borrowed ink refills. I put out a couple drops into my palette and used a damp paintbrush to move the colour around the card. I added more water and more colour when needed and tried to get an even mix of the purple and blue colour. You can see my water pot at the top of the screen. It's an old plastic tub that I've been using as a water pot for years and I'll keep using it until it starts breaking apart. I'll put my background aside to dry and buff off any of the colour off the embossed lines once it is dry. I have all this colour left in my palette. So I grabbed another piece of card and brushed the colour across it. I also had some All That Jazz colour in my palette, but I didn't use it on the butterflies, so I'll use it all on this card. I will finish this card and share it over on Instagram and the Sunshine Bee Fans group on Facebook. The links will be below. I stamped Fluttering By to Say and You're the Best onto white card, trimmed them out into banner strips and adhered them with foam tape. I checked they were straight and used the grid lines on my acrylic block to see if they were centred on the background. I'll adhere this to a standard A2 sized card base. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. All the new stamps in this release are available for pre-order now. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.